We've seen quite a few formulas that can manipulate text and take parts of text strings and make other text strings. But what we're going to have a look at now is the ability to put text strings together. This is called concatenation. And there are two ways really of doing this in Excel. One is to use the concatenate function and the other is to use the concatenate operator. We'll obviously investigate both methods. Now, taking our employees data, it may be, if we insert a column here, that we would like our title, first name and surname to be represented as a single cell value. We can do that by effectively sticking the three bits together using concatenation. So let's call this full name. Now the straightforward way to concatenate is to use the concatenate function. So it's concatenate, open brackets. And then each text string that you wish to have within your resulting string just goes separated by a comma. So I want the misses or the value in that cell, comma, the value in that cell, comma, the value in that cell. Close brackets. On return, I have the result I asked for, which is Mrs. Wendy Parker, but without spaces. You have to remember in concatenation, if you want spaces, you have to effectively concatenate a space in. So we put a comma, open space marks, space, close space marks, and the same between the C2 and the D2. Another comma, speech marks, space, speech marks. The speech marks are important when you want a space to occur because it means take this literal character, which just happens to be a space. A return, and I get my Mrs. Wendy Parker with a space. Replicate down, and I get everybody's title, first name, and surname. Now there's nothing to stop you replacing parts of this concatenation function with other functions. So it may be that I only wish to have their first initial. So instead of C2, I can put left, open brackets, C2, close brackets. And we know if we don't define a number of characters, it only gives you the first character. And that way I get Mrs. W. Parker. Let's replicate. And I get everybody's title, initial, and surname. So that's method number one, the concatenate function. The second method, let's do this with the address. So I'll insert a column here. Call this full address. And their full address is going to be a series of cells stuck together. So I'm just going to put equals the house name. And then we use the ampersand symbol for our sticking together. We still need to make sure that we stick some spaces between our values. Otherwise, all the text strings will just run into each other. And the street and the space and the address two and another space and town city and another space. Don't forget these spaces, they're vitally important for the concatenation to work properly. County and then the final space and the postcode. Return and we get the full address. And I can then replicate and it pulls through the full address for all of our employees. So that's concatenate function or the concatenate operator, which is the ampersand symbol. Now within your concatenate operation, whether you're using the ampersand or the concatenate function, your formulas can be embedded. So we've already seen how we can embed the left function in there to get concatenate the left. Well, we can do any of the functions we've carried out previously, mid, find, left, right, even using len to determine the length of a string, all to build a final string using the concatenating options. We could with our little employees here, if we inserted a new column. If our company got taken over by McDonald's, then all of our employees would need new email addresses. With McDonald's, the email structure is equals their first initial, then a dot, then their surname, then another dot. So literally a dot, so we need the speech marks. Then their town. This way we're determining that people are unique. And then at mcdonalds.com. Problem with our function. OK. We've missed out one of the ampersands just there. So don't forget that ampersand is a requirement when using the ampersand operator. Think of it as a little piece of glue between each of the elements. So each element, the left, full stop, surname, the next full stop, the town, and at mcdonalds.com are all 
elements of the function and they must be glued to each other. And that's what the ampersand does. And then we have w.parker.thirsk at mcdonalds.com. Replicate the formula and we are complete with our new email addresses ready to issue to our employees. So that's concatenate or ampersand symbol. The end result effectively is the same.